Hey there, this is Aaron. In this video, I want to show you two different practical applications for Adobe Firefly Generative Fill. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play with these things as toys, but let's see how we can actually put them into practical use. So let's say that Editor has given us this image of a city scene, but what they've asked for is for it to be uh, square. So we're going to change the size of the canvas and see what we can come up with for them. So we'll make it the 5700 pixels tall. And that gives us our square canvas. So our challenge is to fill in this space with scenery that matches the space below. Can Firefly handle the job? I don't know. It's a pretty tall order and that's actually quite a bit of uh, space to compute and a fairly large image as well. So let's see what it does come up with. And there's also going to be three different variations for us to choose from. So it's always exciting to see what the results are going to be. There we go. Definitely the city scene. Definitely some strange stuff going on up here. Let's zoom in a little bit and see what's up. Not really sure what's happening up here. So we better check one of our other variations. That seems to make a little bit more sense. And so does that. But if we weren't happy with that, we could always back out and ask for it to render again. Let's try this time bringing it all the way down and have it render this full section and see whether or not it can do something that makes sense as far as the overall composition and still ties in with the overall feeling of this image. Let's find out. Isn't this exciting? It's crunching, crunching, and wow, quite a different scene altogether, but it has done the job. Let's look at our other variations. Wow, pretty cool. They're walking underneath some scaffolding. And how about this one? Underneath more like a um, a covered walkway. That is pretty, pretty cool stuff. So now we have three very distinct versions to choose from. And let's say we like that one. It's a completely different, completely different vibe overall, except that it still maintains that city scene. That is pretty cool stuff, guys. So that's great. Now let's have a look at some generative fill on an image like this one where beautiful image but cut off here on the right side and also uh, the top of her head is cut off. So again change the size of the canvas and let's make it uh, we'll say 750 pixels maybe even 725 pixels keep her still a little bit centered in the frame here. All right. And we're just going to do the same as before. Select the area, generate the fill for it. And it will definitely add in her shoulder and probably give us a couple of different variations of the shoulder. Background probably won't change significantly, but let's find out. Almost there, there we go. So there is her shoulder, version one, two, or three all very very similar and quite natural looking let's say the number two is the most natural for us that's great so now we just have to add the top of her head change the height here to I think probably 900 pixels tall is going to give us the space we're looking for yeah that should do it so we'll highlight that spot bit of overlap just so it knows what it's working with and we will generate that and make her just come to life and pop off the screen here once we see her full form all right so we do have the top of this young lady's head let us check out our other variations one two or three I think number three kind of finishes it off nicely I think she might prefer number two though, it's tough to say, we'd have to ask her. So there you go folks, that is some generative AI used for a practical application. Get the new Adobe Photoshop public beta, play with Firefly, 
It is really awesome and a lot of fun. Have a great day.